Hi, my name is Sufyan Wari, and I'm a senior solution engineer at Axway. During this presentation, I would like to walk you through Axway's Managed File Transfer Operational Intelligence. I may say MFTOI for short later on. Operational Intelligence is a part of the wider Axway MFT product suite. It is a complementary tool to our peer-to-peer -to -peer capabilities, our core MFT engine, and our governance component that offers powerful self-service capabilities and MFT asset management. Operational Intelligence is a key component in this group that offers real-time insight into file transfer operations via a full suite of out-of-the-box dashboards and notifications. Based on our cloud services experience for managed file transfers, up to 90% of the errors generated in production are not related to a gateway problem. The most common problems are passwords and certificates expiration. The mission of MFTOI is to empower the stakeholders to the file exchanges so that they can get the status on their own file transfers, which will reduce the burden on the core team managing the file exchange gateway. Additionally, MFTOI will reduce business risk by creating a model of proactive alerting looking for potential issues before they have business impact. This is what you're going to see in our demo today. In this demo, we will cover three main topics. First, we will go through self-service visibility. Here, the key point will be to see how we can empower the line of business stakeholders. Second, we will see proactive monitoring. Here, we will show you how we can allow you to detect abnormal situations based on machine learning. Finally, we will cover end-to-end -end monitoring. Here, we will see how we can track and trace file operations. So let's get started with self-service visibility. What we will see here is how to allow the business users to get visibility on their file transfer operations. This way, they can answer the most frequently asked questions. Why did my transfer fail? And where is my file? If a transfer fails, an alert can be triggered and an email will be sent to the subscribing recipient. This email will have a summary of what happened and most importantly, what went wrong. In this example, we can quickly see the reason why the transfer has failed. It was a notification failure. We also get complementary information like the receiver ID here, for whom the credentials must be fixed. The notifications we subscribe to are customizable. In this example, we are subscribing to a failed transfer. The subject and the body of the email will have contextualized data to describe the problem. In this example, we highlight how we made the error message available for the notification and how it can be used in the body of the email. We could also add the protocol or the host name, for example. Really, whatever is relevant to help fix the issue faster. Not receiving or sending files interrupts business processes. Where is my file is one of the most frequently asked questions to MFT support teams. Using the transfer summary, a user can define a search based on multiple criteria to filter the list of transfers. In this example, we use the file name filter with a contains function. This filters the results matching our criteria. Let's summarize the self service visibility. What we saw was an example of the notifications for failed file transfers. We saw how the email can be configured to help give as much context as possible to speed up the resolution. We've also seen how we can search for files using an exhaustive, an exhaustive set of criteria. Line of business users can consume this data directly. No need to require help from IT resources or support teams. 
Now, let's move to our second area of interest, proactive monitoring. By proactive, I mean going beyond waiting for failed transfers. Here, we will leverage the traffic history we collect to identify patterns, being able to describe a situation as abnormal or unusual. We will also see how we can configure checks for the files that we are expecting, so that we can be notified when files are missing. So let's see how traffic is learned from history. We identify patterns using normal distribution. We display the average as the expected value here in light green on the graph. And we use standard deviation multipliers to define normal and unexpected. Within one standard deviation, this is the green zone. You are in the normal zone. Between one and two standard deviation, this is the yellow zone. You are in the unusual area. Anything beyond two standard deviation is the gray zone. You are in the unexpected area. In this global dashboard, we will see these patterns detection in action. We can see at the top section that there were 2,264 files processed today with a warning sign next to it. This warning signals that the volume is unusual. In fact, it is in the yellow area on the graph. The total number of the exceptions at the bottom is 26 with a red sign next to it. This sign indicates an unexpected situations. There are too many exceptions and we can also see that the curve spikes. This indicates that the problem is actually happening right now. So let's see now how we can check which participants are impacted by these 26 errors. This is the participants overview dashboard. We can see two lists. The one on the top is for the watched participants. The one on the bottom is for all the others that are not being watched. Here we can see quickly that the one of the unwatched participant has 24 errors out of the 26 we've seen previously. Now this is where watching a participant comes into play. If this participant was watched, we could have received a notification for this unusual situation. So let's see how we can do that. See if this participant was watched while these errors occurred. We would have received an email notification describing this abnormal situation. Now let's talk about how we can configure checks for the files that we are expecting. In this example, We've configured that for participant S worry, we are expecting files on Monday. Specifically, between 8 and 9 a.m., we are expecting a minimum of 500 files and a maximum of 600. The solution can also automatically scan for patterns, specifically the hour of the day of the week. For a given weekday, the pattern will be detected for specific one hour windows. This is another benefit of watching a participant. Their activity will be scanned periodically and suggest when to expect files. The suggestion will have a confidence level or a consistency. As we mentioned earlier, this is based on normal distribution and standard deviations. In this example you see here, if you consistently receive a single file every Monday between 5 and 6 p.m. and another single file between 6 and 7 p.m., the average is 1 and there is no variation. Then the suggestion will then have a consistency of 100%. Once we have configured expected activity for a participant, we can then track if the files are being processed within the windows configured. In the first highlighted section, we can see which windows already received the expected volume. Here, we can see that between noon and 1 p.m., we received actually the expected volume. But below it, we have the missed windows. These are the windows for which we have not received the expected volume. Here you can see that 
we have two windows in this situation at 4 a.m. and another one at 10 a.m. at the bottom we can see which windows have not started yet this is still expected so let's see what else we can get from this well this is what you can get you can subscribe to missing file notifications if a participant has a window of expected files configured when the window is over the solution will assess the volume and compare it to the expected an email will be sent if the assessment fails now let's summarize what we have seen in terms of proactive monitoring what we saw for proactive monitoring is how leveraging pattern recognition can help you better understand the traffic activity this will allow you to stay ahead of the curve by assessing real time if what's happening is expected or unusual we've also seen how we can specifically monitor activity for participant you watch because they are critical to your business this will allow to reduce the business risk by identifying where a business process may be interrupted because of missing files now let's finally talk about end-to-end -end monitoring here we will see how you can track files across your MFT ecosystem as an example we will use a zip file that would be received and each of its files will be routed separately then we will have an overview of the platform MFT operational intelligence was built on and what this platform can do for you and your business beyond the files transfer spike as I've mentioned we will use a zip file that will be received and each of its files will be routed separately we will see how we can track the zip file received and the subsequent transfers from the originating one here you are looking at the file transfers details we can see here that we successfully received the zip file named albert2.zip we can see the bottom section the transfer history <clears throat> each step of this file has gone through is logged and we can see how it how long it took to move from a step to the next the zip contained four files here that are each routed separately here we can see these files as related to the zip file we can click on each one of them to see its details here we are seeing the subsequent transfer one of the files contains in the zip we can see its own transfer history and we can see that it has a parent transfer so if we click on that link we will return back to the zip file details and check the other files that were in it it is time now to talk about Axway Decision Insight this is the platform on top of which we are running the MFT operational intelligence solution Decision Insight is a real-time operational intelligence platform it can ingest data from disparate system it can correlate and evaluate the information collected and it provides user with actionable insights and situational awareness on critical business processes with Axway Decision Insight, the focus is to help operations to proactively identify and resolve process issues prior to impacting their customers and business. This is achieved by providing different perspectives and analytics that will keep track of SLAs, cutoffs, and deadlines, identify which customers are at risk, and provide situational awareness so that we know if what's happening is unusual or unexpected. We can now conclude on the end-to-end -end monitoring. We have seen how we can monitor a file from source to destination. This, this helps connecting the dots for complex file routing processes. This will help during investigation and troubleshooting and significantly reduce the time and effort it takes. We've also seen what platform MFT operational intelligence was built on top and what this 
platform, actually decision insight, can do in terms of monitoring of monitoring time sensitive processes. Now it's time to summarize all of the benefits we have seen throughout this demo. We've seen powerful dashboards and notifications that offer comprehensive operational monitoring. These capabilities can be consumed by line of business stakeholders. No need to rely on experimented IT resources. We've also seen proactive monitoring to give insights whether what's happening now is usual or not. We finally saw the end-to-end -end monitoring so that you don't miss a bit of the traffic that's happening on your gateway. These are the ingredients to achieve operational efficiency. Before MFT OI, a customer was dealing with an average of 50 file transfer failures per day. These were generated from the MFT Gateway Hub and a network of peer-to-peer -peer transfer CFTs. It required two FTEs, full-time employees, to manage the resolution of those issues. Once MFT OI was deployed, these two FTEs were reassigned to higher value tasks. The internal business stakeholders avoided critical SLAs by reacting to issues faster with a 70% improvement and were able to identify significant abnormal trends that have been addressed. Thank you for watching this video. Reach out to us if you want to learn more. We would love to hear your feedback.